I just did like 400 push-ups and I'm tired because I did so many. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Tell Your Story. Good morning, my name is Nason, and today we're talking about the brain, exercise, and no more cravings. Let's go. Did you know that when you exercise, the brain releases endorphins and dopamine? The brain is literally like releasing feel-good chemicals and getting rid of all the toxic stuff that gives you like anxiety and depression. I think that's pretty cool. I did a quick Google search as to what endorphins actually do or what they are, and what I got was... Um, let's see, Google says they diminish the perception of pain and as they also act as sedatives. So they're manufactured in the brain and in the spinal cord. So not only are they making you feel good, they also help you get a good night's sleep. What does that mean for say like early in sobriety addict? Well, you know, when I was early in my sobriety trying to stay away from alcohol, you know, I had trouble sleeping. I had cravings. Um, it made it really hard for me to be around other people that were drinking because I really wanted to take a sip of alcohol. So when I exercise, I get all these really good, happy feeling, <laughs> um, we'll say chemicals in my brain that help me like deal with that. It also replaces all the bad ones. So eventually it's sort of like winging off quicker while also getting into shape. So on that note, let me tell you about yesterday. So I'm not asking you to go out there and run a marathon, but for instance, Corey and I decided to head to Alabama, where we went to Lurleen Lake, Laurelleen Lake, yeah, it's like North Alabama, and we have this inflatable kayak that we keep in the car, and man, just that like 45 minute drive put us in a place that was so beautiful, you know, we blew up the kayak, got out on the water, and just enjoyed a couple of hours of just serene, wonderful beauty, nature, all of that stuff. And man, gosh, it, it sort of like centers you, you know, like and we come back and I just feel excited to be home, excited to be alive. That's that's what exercise is. It doesn't have to be, you know, sitting on the ground doing 100,000 push-ups, P90X in it every day. That's not really what living life looks like. What it means is that you get off your butt and maybe take the car somewhere, you know, 20 minute drive will take you to a state park. You know, if you got a bicycle, go outside, take a ride, feel that breeze through your hair, if you have any hair. Exercise is about living life. And I think to this day, you know, in the last, maybe in the last year, we've done the most exercise we've ever done. You know, we've done the most living life that we've ever done. We go outside, we enjoy the outdoors, and um, to kind of get to see what that miracle of life looks like. And if God's created it, he did a pretty good job, because it's pretty out there, man. So that's my call to action to you. Get off your butt, get outside, and go do something. The quicker you live life, the quicker you can forget about all these cravings and this past life where you used to be obsessed with your worst vices. You don't have to live that way anymore, and we sure don't. So grab a cup of coffee, you know, get moving, and get outside. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Love you. See you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, we went to, like, Lake Lur Lake. Lurleen? Lurleen. Lurleen. Mm-hmm.